It is the last day of our holiday today. <laughs> Wrong word. I know he's a fool, isn't he? Good morning, guys. How are you today? We are just wandering down to go and get a pancake. It's quite late, it's about half past 11. I have been up for hours. I think it's about half 11, yeah. I have been up for hours, but I have just been catching up on some editing and stuff for a long time because. I've had to re-edit, or oh, it's a nightmare, I've had to re-edit a lot of the videos for a certain reason that I've only just found out about. So, that's a bit of a ball ache, but never mind. We'll just have to get on with it. So we're going to go and get a pancake. It's our last full day, like I said. And I think, I don't know, well, to be honest, we've probably got lots of clearing up and tidying and stuff to sort out around the villa. Hot. <laughs> We've had our pancakes, or actually Stephen's had his pancakes, I didn't have one. I just didn't fancy one today. We're heading back home now. I think Stephen fancies a little dip in the pool. I'm feeling shattered today, although I slept really well. It's the first night, good night's sleep I've had for a few days now. I slept well, but I woke up super early. I'm feeling really quite tired. You always woke up super early. I know. Oh, shit, I'm yawning. Oh, I'm going to go to bed. What? <laughs> Stephen's going to go in the pool with my sister. I'm going to try and just grab a quick half an hour because I can't stop yawning. I'm absolutely shattered. Probably won't be able to, but I'll give it a go. A bit windy. What? It's a bit windy. Dry sand. I'm guessing what you're guessing dry sand. Did you put in this? Oh yeah, you put yeah. Mm. Is the potatoes in the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I did end up falling asleep. I think I had about an hour. We just had a wander down to the port. See what's got some bread. He's gonna try and feed the crabs. Have you seen any crabs? You see a crab. Can you see one? Where? That baby one there. On the wall. There's lots oh, of fish. I see no crabs. See him? Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. fish hungrier than the crab. Whoa, he's huge. He's the biggest one we've ever seen. You could bring a fishing rod down. Isn't he? Yeah. You cook the netting. 
Oh my goodness, it's massive. It's massive. Look, it's melt. Music at JJ's tonight. Uh, remember when I did one and it was so tiny? Yeah, it was. Are you playing with the Spanish kids? Yeah, yeah. Kind of. Go on then, go and get someone. Can you get mine? No, get the don't. Get the Is he like getting the lifeguard? Yeah, get the lifeguard. This is future Sarah, just jumping in on the vlog. I'm back at home and I'm just editing this vlog and I've realised that it's just kind of gone from, I know most of my holiday vlogs didn't really make sense, but this one kind of went from feeding the crabs to pool to all of a sudden dancing. Or oh, it's going to go to dancing in a second anyway. So um, I just thought I'd hop in and kind of just explain slightly. We went and fed the crabs and then we had about two hours or so to kill before we went out for a meal for our last night. Was it our last night? Yes it was, it was our last night. So Stephen then went and played in the pool after feeding the crabs and it was so nice because we were playing with all the Spanish kids. For, all of a sudden there was like 15 Spanish kids that turned up, I don't know, like with various families and whatever. And it was so nice actually because normally like the English kids and the Spanish kids play completely separately. And it was nice, for, like, it was, I don't know, it was just nice for Stephen to be playing with the Spanish kids. There's a bit of like an Englishy Spanish divide within the community there. So that was quite nice. Then anyway, then we went out to JJ's for our final meal, which is what you're about to say. I didn't vlog the meal or whatever, but I promised that after some crazy stupid dancing that I was doing the previous night, they do music at JJ's Thursdays and Thursdays and Sundays. And the previous Sunday, I think we'd gone and one of our friends took an awful video of me and shared it on Facebook because I was just dancing like a crazy woman. Um, I promised that I wouldn't do any dancing, that I would keep my arse firmly on my seat but I just couldn't help it. I can't help myself when there's a bit of music on so I just, anyway yeah, got up and another dance. So <laughs> a little dance with one of the, um, one of the little girls, which you're about to see and then we went home to bed. <laughs> Me and Stephen have just got back from our last night here this year. Move forever, who knows? We had a dead nice time. Did you have a nice time at JJ's? Stephen was shattered. I think he wanted to come home about three hours ago, to be honest. <laughs> Did you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Were you done with it hours ago? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I had fun, but oh, I've just, I've got emotional again now. Even, 
I think I have kind of explained to you about the whole situation with um with this house being sold or whatever and even it's just kind of even if we do get even if my sister manages to buy an apartment on the complex or whatever this is like the last night oh my god I'm gonna cry. Yeah, this is just this is just the last night that we'll stay in this place and it's kind of ours, like our family, even though it's, you know, it's my nan's, whatever. If we ever do come back, like I said, our friend has bought the place and said so potentially we could come back and stay here next year or whatever, but it's just, it just just really just feels like the end of something. Like I've been coming here since I was about four, so if it's twenty nine years I've been coming I'm staying here and it's just really emotional to be honest it's just I don't know anyway I had a nice night though it's been nice I'm going home tomorrow you're looking forward to going home aren't you Stephen yeah 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 Stephen's like yes got me to get home He's done. Now his friends aren't here anymore. He's done. This light is horrific in this room. But anyway. Yeah, really looking forward to going home. I am kind of looking forward to going home now, to be honest. But no, that I've got an awful lot to do. Because by the time we get home, it's only about two, I think it's about two weeks before we leave. So that is it? Yeah, when we got home, we've got two weeks before we leave for China. Really? Yeah. So there's not much time. There's not much time at all. Do you think it was longer? Yeah. And we want to do London in the middle of that. Oh my goodness, that's the thing. Uh, we don't what, think we want to do London. London anymore. You don't want to do London. No. <laughs> We're going to go to London. We didn't know about our Chinese visas. We should have done this before. Well, I should have done this before. But I haven't got our Chinese visas yet. We can either do them in Manchester or in London. So we're potentially thinking about going down to London to get them. Um but because it maybe take, I think it was like four days or so. Anyway, I don't know, I'm just rambling on. I'm going to bed now because I'm just gonna have my last little sleep in this bed ever. I've slept in this bed for, I think actually the same bed, I don't think it's been changed. I've slept in this bed for about 25 years. What last night. Well, I don't know, maybe the other ones, I have no idea where I slept before and I just always remember that I slept in this bed, I don't know. Anyway, it's just, it's just really sad that, sad. it is sad, do you feel sad about the villa? Yeah. 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 We'll see, anyway, who knows, maybe we'll be back, hopefully we will by whether my sister buys a place here or whatever but it's still just not quite the same as having this place <sighs> but anyway good night guys thanks for watching see you tomorrow